Hey guys, good morning. Coach Jen T here, coming at you as rolling out of bed. Um, I once had one of my clients say, I really love your videos because they're so imperfect. And I'm like, yeah, that's the definition of me. Um, but I just wanted to share like some tips um, for vacation. And the reason why is because we took like a quick weekend trip to Florida. And I was thinking as I was on this trip, um, how I could relay some tips to the clients that I work with on a daily basis. Um, especially with the upcoming winter, a lot of my clients through the holiday season and beyond into the new year go to warm places, traveling, super fun, but it can be a little bit hard to stick with your, your goals, right? So I just have seven quick tips for vacation that I kind of jotted down that worked really well for me. Um, and I would like to relay them to you. Um, so number one is to start with a solid protein packed breakfast. This was huge for us. We would um, get like grocery delivery to the place we were staying at. Lucky for us, we did have like a full kitchen um, and we would at least make breakfast at minimum at our place. And that was things like eggs, some English muffins, whatever it might be. Um, we even had like bell peppers for veggies, um, bacon, sausage, whatever it is, but just filling up on like protein packed breakfast as a great start to the day. And of course, <clears throat> my protein coffee comes with me. I was able to um, get some protein powder um, through TSA and just made my protein coffee. Absolutely delicious, something to look forward to and packs in an extra 20 grams of protein. So starting that off for your day will just give you like the energy you need to sustain, keep you feeling full, and then it helps you make better choices throughout the day. Number two is to stay hydrated with lots of water. One given when we order grocery delivery is ordering a 40 pack of bottled water um, and then just making sure we ended up having to like restock that. But I brought my empty blender bottle through TSA. If you have a favorite water bottle, you can bring it through TSA empty and then, ref and then fill it as you're at the airport. And so you, that allows you to stay hydrated and um, being sure that you keep that full, bring it with you everywhere. I would aim to have like a 20 ounce bottle of water before I even had my cup of coffee. Um, and just staying hydrated helps you with more energy, keeps you feeling full and satisfied. Number three is to aim for a certain number of steps per day so that you're staying moving. I have a Fitbit, I absolutely love it. A lot of people love their Apple watches, but having like a step count when you're on vacation will keep you moving and being intentional with movement as you go about your day. So for example, you know, Fitbits will give you a little buzz or a little vibrate when you haven't been moving for a while. So just getting up and moving. Um, of course, when you're on vacation and you're staying at a place, you do have to go walk to get what you want. Like let's say you want a coffee or you want to go um, shopping. You do have to get a lot of steps. So my steps each day were 10,000. And I was actually surprised because how lazy I felt on vacation doing a lot of lounging by the pool. I still was able to get those steps in just walking on the beach and enjoying the scenes and things. So aim for those steps, keep moving. Number four is to be present. Like enjoy the surroundings, enjoy the people you're with. We had a great time. I was with family um, and you know, a couple of, well, all cousins and my daughter came and it's just, so enjoyable to be in a different place, somewhere warm, somewhere beautiful, and just simply enjoying the people that you're with. Um, kind of takes the focus away solely on like food or you know eating out of boredom, just staying busy with like activities and things to do like swimming, um, lounging in the pool, that kind of thing. Number five is keeping in mind that those little bit better choices add up. This is one of my favorite like things that I practice and I preach to my clients. Like you don't have to be perfect with your choices, but ask yourself what like you would normally choose. And then just ask yourself how that choice can be a little bit better. So maybe you add some extra protein. Maybe you add some vegetables or a side salad to your meal. Maybe you half your portion here and there. Um, just those little bit better choices certainly add up. Um, and that also goes for like, if you do drink alcohol, trying to like alternate and swap with water in between that will also keep you hydrated therefore also slashing calories in half number six if you know me you know i love my treats 
um, make sure you give yourself the flexibility to indulge in those treats, especially when you're on vacation. You can't expect to be perfect um, with your choices. Some of my favorite treats um, were the donuts. There was a place called Duck Donuts. We ordered um, donuts in. One morning I was really craving a bagel. Of course, I started off with my protein packed breakfast and then my middle of morning snack was a bagel with cream cheese. Um, also, I really enjoyed the Starbucks frothy coffee, sweet whipped cream, um, iced coffees or iced lattes. Again, delicious. So pick and choose like your favorite indulgences and then just enjoy them. And I think we went out to like a couple, well, we went out to dinner every night, but we tried to make meals from our place for breakfast and lunch. So we tried to eat fairly healthy, but then like in the evening, I got what I wanted at dinner, ate it mindfully, and it just helps you know that you can indulge and still, you know, be on track with your goals. And then finally, last but not least, number seven, this one I always preach to my clients. It's very important to give yourself the same amount of time um, to get back on track as the amount of time you were gone. So for example, if you're gone on a five day vacation, give yourself five days to easing back on track when you return. Um, this is really important because you know some of my clients are like on a fat loss journey, um, when they come back, they've been eating things they're not used to. They're feeling bloated. They're feeling like sodium retention, maybe eating higher carb foods. So when they come back from vacation, they're like, oh my gosh, I gained five pounds or I gained 10 pounds. That is absolutely not true. Four or five days on vacation is not going to make you gain five pounds of fat. Um, that's just your body like holding water. So with getting back on track and let's say having four or five days of like getting back to drinking water, getting back to eating your normal routine foods, um, that takes some time and then give yourself that time. And I promise you, you're going to see yourself regulate back to where you were before you left. Um, vacation is all about enjoyment of the people you're with and the experiences around you. So 100% enjoy that. And again, if you are in my coaching program, um, just always keep in touch with me. It's, for example, like clients that are going out to a specific restaurant might want some guidance on what to choose, um, or maybe you want some guidance or accountability on a certain step count. Everything is synced with your programming. So keep that in mind and keep in touch, and we will talk to you soon. Fast. Yeah, I wish time would take a little slower. Sometimes it feels like a blink and then it's over. Better so get in, better make it last. Live it up while we can.